Okay, welcome to Memorial High School. All right, this video we're gonna learn how to measure the bolts. Okay, so let's say you're gonna measure a bolt, you wanna know the size. Let's make a nice drawing about it. I'm gonna do my best to uh, do this one-handed. All right, so let's see. This would be the head of the bolt, this would be the shaft, right? Okay. There's your bolt, right? Now, <clears throat> if you notice about halfway down, or more than one half, more than halfway, there's some threads, right? These are little turns, the screw part of the bolt, right? Okay. And so this is called the shaft. Sorry, the shoulder, right? Let's see, shoulder. I guess it would be, what a U? Yeah, what a U, sorry. Okay, now from here to here, that is a certain measurement, and we wanna know what that is. And then from here to here, that is a certain measurement, okay? All right, I'm low on energy, so let me pump it up a little. Why are we doing this? Let's start with questions. Why are we doing this? What if you want to identify a bolt if you need another, a duplicate, right? You can go online and you can buy the exact same bolt, but if you don't know your measurements, there's no way to do it. Also, if you want to compare, uh, you know, to different bolts, all right? So let's get back to it, all right. So now, the critical measurements are how long the total is, right? How long from here to here? How long is the, sh is the shoulder? How long are the threads, right? Threads. This is the hex head, right? Um, this matters in some cases. You might want to know this, but probably uh, might not matter. This might matter to you if you're being real specific about a very specific application. And um, that's basically, oh, sorry. And very important, the diameter, which would be from here to here. And I'm gonna take that one out and put it here. Okay, so let's take some measurements, all right? Are you guys with me so far? We're measuring bolts so that you can, right, you know what's going on. All right. Okay, so. Um, Okay, so let's take a measurement. So this is your this is your caliper. I hope you guys know how to use it. If not, I can I can put a link in the bottom for how to use a caliper. It's a pretty cool tool if you're going to get into engineering or mechanics. It's good to know. All right. <clears throat> so let's see. You take this here, and let's start with the diameter. So the diameter is, focus, focus camera. Okay, the diameter is 0 0.308, okay? So let's write that down. 0 0.308, all right? So that goes for the diameter. Now, if you guys know, if this is a if this is a inch, um, a fractional measurement, then you know we use the pizza pie. So one whole pie is equal to one, half a pie is equal to 0.5, quarter of a pie is equal to 250. I'll put a star right here because most pies, right, most pies are quarter, sorry, eighth, and then if you get, I'll put a D, that's for people on a diet. They always ask people to cut the pie up. This is pepperoni, although I don't, I don't eat uh, meat. I'm a uh, vegetarian. So, uh, but I'll just put it in there because I know you guys like it. And we'll put the bubble, right? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so if you're using this system, where does the, the point um, 308 fit 
Where does it fit? What fraction is it? Well, because they don't sell it by decimal places. They sell it by fractions. Um, so this is a, what we're going to have to do is uh, we're going to have to combine. So what are we closest to? We're, we're closest to here. So we'll take uh, 250. And let's add a low number. Let's add a 16th. So that's 0625. Right? And then what we're going to do is uh, drop the paper moved. Oops. Drop down the 5, the 2, right? This becomes a 1. Sorry. This becomes, yeah, this becomes a, wait, what am I doing? Uh, 31. Yeah. All right. And, uh, so there's your number. Now, what's the difference between these two? Not much. If you put this one on top, 31, 2, 5, you're going to get the 5, and this, you, you know, cancel the thing out, it becomes 4. Okay. That's equal to like two human hairs, so no big deal in this case. So this is our number. So what is that number if you combine these two? So you got here, quarter, plus a 16. So what you would do is you would say, well, 4 sixteenths is equal to 1 quarter, which is equal to 250. All right, so if I just add 1 sixteenth to here, then what I, which is what I did, so that's 5 sixteenths. So this is... This is 1 16th and this is 4 16th. I'm just adding them so I get 5 16ths. That's our number. And I have to admit that sometimes it gets confusing, so I actually did this out once before. Okay, so I'm with you. I'm not I'm not trying to intimidate you with math or anything like that. You know, if you're a veteran watching this video, you're probably laughing about the math. But if you're a student and you're just learning, yeah, you're this is this is all new. You know, so let's go back to the original drawing. We answered the question over here, and what we're going to do is we're going to put five sixteenths, and we're going to get rid of this because we know that this is how they sell the bolts. That's for the diameter. Now, how many threads? That's super important. What the threads go per inch. So what I do is. Change this to an inch. And get in close and take a look. That's about an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to count them. Okay? So basically it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. So we're going to replace this with 18. It might be give or take, but that's about it. Now what's the shoulder length? That's important. I'm just going to measure that and get a guesstimate. It's about 2 inches. So I'm going to get rid of this. That's 2 inches. I told you before you don't need to know this unless it's real specific and this either. So we're going to leave that out for now. And we know that this is one inch. So we got our numbers, two inches, and the total with the one inch is three. So it's a three inch shaft with a two inch shoulder, uh, 18 threads per inch, and the important part, ding, ding, five sixteenths diameter. Okay, we're not done. We're going to the computer. We're going to go and look at a website called McMaster Car. Now this is not an advertisement for what McMaster Car, it's just they got a really good website. Um, and what they do is they allow you to buy the bolts by categories, by exactly the categories that we just looked up and the measurements. So let's go over there. Okay. I hope one of my students gets a real good lesson out of this. Okay. 
So you go to McMaster Car. Now McMaster Car is real simple. We're gonna go back to, I was already looking up stuff. I prepared a little bit for this video. I'm just going backwards. And you just type in McMaster Car and then go down to their website. Brings you to, they sell almost everything for building, construction and whatnot, engineering, everything. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to screws and bolts right here. Click on that. We know we're using the hex head, right? So click on that. And then from there, if you notice over here, it says thread size. We're so lucky, we already measured. Right? We already measured that. So that's right here, 5 16 by 18. So I click on that. That's like a filter. And what was the length? You guys remember? The total length was three. Right here. Okay. And what was the other, uh, let's see. Partially threaded. Partially, partially threaded. Where's the shoulder? Let's see. Can we... All right. So you can see it kind of looks like ours with the, with the shoulder, but it doesn't give me a dimension here. I'll have to go in here. And what type of strength? Okay, that's another part. I didn't talk about that yet. Let's go back over here. All right, this one, that has to do with the rating of the bolt. This one just happens to be unrated. There's really nothing there. So we're not gonna put a rating in. Okay. Now what else, let's see. Yeah, that's about it. Although we could say, you could have it, if it's silverish, then it's probably zinc coated. All right. And then that's basically it. Okay, so let's take a look. Not grade five, let's see, low strength, here we go. And we're trying to find the partially threaded, minimum thread, let's see. I don't know if this is gonna help us. Okay, you know what we could do to double check? We can click on the number and then we can click on the CAD detail and it will, it will give us the information. So here we go. Three inches total. Thread length may vary from seven eighths to one and three sixteenths in length. All right, um, that's a pretty big range but I think that might work for our purposes. I was hoping for one inch exactly. Uh, we've got our five sixteenths by 18, we've got our uh, 0.31225, uh, which is uh, 5 sixteenths, and then they give us, it's a half inch head, so that would be for the wrench, and then this is the thickness or the height of the thing. And then if you actually wanted to see it, you could click on the SolidWorks CAD model, click on save, and then it will bring it down here and it'll, I'll open it right here. So there's our bolt. Pretty cool, right? And uh, you know that's that's exciting because now you know exactly what you're dealing with. Although I didn't like I didn't like that we can't determine the length of this. So why don't we just do it ourselves? So let's see. I can actually go ahead and do. Um, I can measure. I can say evaluate. I want to go from here to here. And so they're saying it's it's a point 0.875, which that's not an inch. Okay. So let's let's go back a second and uh, you know, I don't want to make this video too long, but let me let's try and solve it just a little bit. I think if we take out take out the partially threaded and take out the zinc 
Let's see what we could do. High strength, medium, grade, no. Low strength. Okay, I, yeah, this is the one. And then here's partially threaded, fully threaded, okay. Yeah, I guess I can't control that factor. I do want partially threaded. So I clicked on that, brings us back to where we were. And yeah, I don't have control over that in this in this uh, website. But I, I did control a lot of other factors. All right, so I think you guys got the idea. And if it was a different bolt, it would have a different, uh, different threads, different diameter, right? Different length. You can not, you, you can have a shoulder or no shoulder. This ends up being half inch. Although you could probably change that to something else. And then this one, I forgot what it was, but unimportant for our purposes. All right, so just to review, don't forget we're using the pizza pie fractional system. And these were my previous notes before. And so just one more thing, when you're doing stuff like this, just start with a nice clean drawing and then just fill in the, the blanks as you go. All right, I'm Mr. G, I hope that helped. That's how to uh, measure bolts, the thread count, the, the shaft, the shoulder, the diameter, and then how to look it up on McMaster car. Okay, thanks a lot. See you later.